Hey. Hello, everyone. So, uh, my name's Puyu, um, and I'm not your typical lecturer here in Fosdem because I don't code, I'm not a developer. Uh, I was told that using Bootstrap doesn't count. So, no, I don't code. Uh, I do not bash either when someone asks me to sudo apt get install something, I want to crawl into a neat little hole and cry myself to sleep. Uh, actually, I'm a writer. Uh, I've come to the Floss community writing novels and putting them under CC0 public domain license. And that is why in France, for example, I belong in Framasoft. So let me introduce you Framasoft. It's mostly a bunch of friends, but it's not just that. Uh, Framasoft is a, a non-profit, a French non-profit, uh, who whose people are not mainly developers. Lots of them are non-developers. I can call them digital muggles, you know. Uh, we're not from the developing world. And our goal is to promote open source, uh, free libre open source so software and culture uh, through practical projects uh, so that we can be the, the missing link between the developers community and Mr. and Mrs. Everyone, the muggles, as we are. So, Framasoft has been exi existing for uh, 15 years now. Uh, we have more than 1.5 million visits per month in all of our sites. Uh, more than 2,000 supporters, we live by, from donations, actually. Uh, so 2,000 people uh, well, give us money to do uh, our projects. And we propose nowadays more than 50 practical projects. It's really a huge thing. We are a small non-profit, 30 members, 6 employees. It's really small, but it's really huge uh, in, its, uh, in what we do. Uh, we uh, started with a Floss directory, uh, we have uh, USB keys, but also a blog, a publishing house. My novels are, are published by Framasoft, that's how I came in. Uh, and we also present web services. And I really like uh, this sentence because we don't code, we facilitate. Of course, we code some little things, you know it, but we facilitate for people to uh, use really, really easily free libre open source software, services, and culture. Uh, and for two and a half years now, our last project ha has been to de Googleify internet because we're very modest. So let's de Googleify it. Not just Google, actually, all big data, you know, Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft. GAFAM, we call them, uh, and how to do it, I want to share that with you now, because our goal is that, well, you try and you copy us and you adapt it, and let's network together to de the internet together. We have tried in the French-speaking community, it works. Spoiler alert. So we do it with fact, with floss, and with fairy friends. First, when you have Mr. or Mrs. Everyone in front of you, you have to give them facts. You know those facts, so um, Tristan talked about them this morning. Uh, so uh, I'm going to skim through them. Financial facts. In 2016, Apple, Alphabet, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and Facebook has been the four the five most important, the most important uh, economic powers in the world. It's no longer big oil. It's no longer big data. Uh, big Pharma, I'm sorry. It's not Monsanto or General Motors. It's Big Data. It's the people we give our data to who are the richest and the most powerful financially in the world. And that must ring a bell to Mr. and Mrs. Everyone. Of course, there are political facts. Uh, we are, well, Edward Snowden's uh, revelations has been a huge shock, not to us. To us, it was like our most uh, paranoid nightmare coming through. True, I'm sorry. But, uh, well, uh, those po this political mass surveillance that is enabled by the centralization of our data, by those silos, silos of data, uh, well, Edward Snowden underlined them, and Chelsea Manning, and, and all those people, uh, those whistleblowers, it's, it's really important work. And when you say to people, well, what do you think about your state surveying you, among others, well, what do you think about that? Sometimes it rings the bells. So it's really a good fact to state. There are also per personal facts to use. It is that when you know that you can be watched upon, and when you don't know when you are watched upon, well, 
uh, your behavior will change. In philosophy, this is called the panopticon theory. The panopticon can be uh, a prism, like here in Uruguay, I guess. Let's, you'll it's look. Cuba. Uh, also, Cuba, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Tristan. So it's in Cuba. Uh, the panopticon, all the inmates can be washed, but they never know when the warden will wash them. So they will have a warden inside their head. Their behavior will change automatically. It's not about your will and your st the strength of your will. It's about your subconscious. So it's, it's, it, it doesn't care about your will. And this is something that really hits uh, people's mind when you, tell about, uh, when you tell them about it. And finally, there is also a cultural fact. Uh, I really love this uh, image. It says that when you have a notification on Facebook, Twitter, I don't care, well, it's like a slot machine. How many likes did I get this time? Yes, yes. Oh, no, just three, you know? And it's really like that. It's designed by purpose like that. Uh, there is a wonderful blog post that I urge you to read by Tristan Harris uh, called How Technology Hijacks People's Mind. He's a former um, design ethicist at Google's, and he went away rightfully, uh, and he tells us how technology is made to change our behavior and to decide of the time that we have in our lives. Okay, so when you state all those facts to Mr. and Mrs. Everyone, to the widespread audience, usually they're lost. They're lost and telling you, okay, okay, right, right, I agree with you, but what the fuck do I do? Where do I go? There is only Google, just Facebook. I cannot change. And it is our duty to present alternative, easy and ready to use alternative. That is what we've done for two and a half years with the Degoogleify Internet project uh, at Framasoft. We have uh, proposed more than 30 services, all of them based, uh, of course, on freedom and on open source software. We have edited really easy to read user-friendly terms and services. Our TLDR version of our terms and services uh, is legally binding. And it's really easy to read, you know, with sentences that everyone, uh, we tell you, well, don't take us for kittens, you know, don't, don't cheat with us. And things like that, or nothing is eternal, we can stop at any time, as any company or non-profit, sometimes it can stop, it can die. Uh, of course, we provide self-hosting documentation because the point is to have a proof of concept. You come, you try at our services, and then please install them on your servers. And of course, we provide user documentation, how to do this or that. And of course, support when user documentation is not enough. And support is really an important thing to do. And sometimes we also work on the user experience or ergonomy, of course, on translations, because not every Freelib software is available in French. Well, so, well, let's do it. We can. And so I'm going to skim through a few alternatives. We have more than 30 services, so just, just a few for, so that you can understand. We propose a Google Doc alternative based on Etherpad. Uh, well, we have lots of Etherpads, actually, but Etherpad uh, didn't meet our expectation on one point. You couldn't have uh, an account, you know, to have a folder so you can have your pads and choose which part is public or confidential or private. So, well, we needed a plugin. Well, we had a crowdfunding, we hired a developer, and we paid him to, to do that. And it's called MyPad. It's, of course, available for all the Etherpad community. We have more than 42,000 pads. I love 42. Uh, in, <laughs> in our MyPads instance. And we are actually, we think, the largest pad provider, Etherpad provider uh, in France, for sure. Maybe in all, in all Europe. We have to check, but maybe. We have also a Doodle alternative ba uh, based upon the, the software that is called Framadate because it's the one of the few software where the lead developers, lead developers are, are on it. Uh, and it's really, really huge uh, in France. More than 2,000 date, you know, it Doodles are created a day daily in France. So it's really, really huge. It's our most used service. And it's quite about, uh, I'm not an, uh, a sysadmin, but you can ask our sysadmin here. Hello, Luke. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's quite easy to, to host, actually. It's not really demanding. It demands nothing. 
oh, perfect. <laughs> and it's our most used service. Uh, we also have uh, uh, both a Dropbox and a Google Apple Calendar alternative based on uh, Nextcloud, on Cloud Nextcloud. Uh, so it's called Frama Drive for the Dropbox alternative and Frama Agenda uh, for uh, the calendar alternative. Uh, it's two dro uh, Nextcloud instant in, in, in instances. Uh, one is limited uh, for uh, well Dropbox type of use uh, with uh, 5,000 accounts, uh, limited to 5,000 accounts and 2 gigs. And the other is not limited and it's for the agenda but you don't have file sharing space and it's more than uh, 6,700 uh, accounts now. Um, actually, uh, also the uh, calendar app on Nextcloud didn't meet all of our expectations so that people can use it and do whatever they want uh, for sharing purposes or publishing purposes. So we had uh, a developer hired once again so that we can uh, bring this calendar app to meet our expectations and the widespread audience expectations. Uh, we also have a Gypsy Meet alternative, a Skype alternative, I'm sorry, based on Gypsy Meet, of course. Uh, uh, I want to talk about this one because uh, most of our users say it's great, it's easier than Skype. I don't have to download a software, I don't have to create an account, I just go to Frana Talk, I choose the name of my room, share the URL, it's done and it works. Uh, you just need a good uh, web browser, so please use Firefox. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, it's really easy to use and it talks to people. And the free lib can be a, a re really serious alternative to uh, private uh, software and services. So yeah, it works, bitches. <laughs> More than 30 services, it's a, uh, it's a quotation, a graphic quotation from a, um, a, a well-known comic in France. Uh, so we have more than 30 services uh, and actually every month in France it's hundreds of thousands of people who don't use Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft services nowadays. So it makes a difference. That's why it, it, it's, it really amazed us that just 30 people, six employees, uh, a budget on two and a half years, uh, Pierre-Yves, the budget was about what, five? Four thousand. Four hundred thousand uh, euros uh, on two and a half years, and hundreds of thousands of people are changing their digital um, customs, you know, and, and uses. Well, the problem is, can we become the next uh, French free lib Google? Or do we want to? <laughs> Fuck no, you know? We don't want a centralized floss internet. So we give a proof of concept, the experiment works, please, 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 let's spread it, let's decentralize it. That's why we started, we need fairy friends, I told you about that. We started a collective uh, that is called Chaton. So uh, it doesn't work really great. A collective of hosting service pro services providers who are transparent, open, neutral, and solidarity oriented. It works really better in French, actually. But Chaton is kitten in French, so we think it's really great. We have maybe another try. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Kitten actually is networking because when we started doing that, other people already did that. You know, we have ethical and free libre uh, web, web services hosters in France who uh, host mails or uh, websites or things like that. People already did it, you know. So, well, uh, let's join together, let's regroup forces and let's show uh, to people a common face, the, the collective. So, actually, Kittens work both as a lab label and a network. A label for the widespread audience, when you go and use a kitten service, you know that there will be no advertisement, no advertisement profiling. Of course, always free lib and open source software, both for the service and for the system administration. And 
of course, data-friendly terms and services. We want to use our data. It's not our uh, economic model. Uh, there are lots of other values that are stated in our manifesto and commitments upon those values that are stated in our, in our charter uh, about net neutrality, of course, about transparency. You have to be transparent about economy, uh, your economic model, and things like that. But it's a la label so that people know, OK, this thing I know what the core values are, I know what the rules are, and I, I go with it or I leave. And for the people uh, in the collective, for, and for the companies in the collective, the non-profits in the collective, well, it's also, well, a collective. We are 24 strong now, 20, are, uh, pe 20 uh, kittens, wannabe kittens, are waiting for the collective to decide uh, on their welcoming or not. Uh, and so by networking, we can share experience together, of course, technical experience, but also legal advice and legal experience, uh, and also lots and lots of things. Uh, if you want to ask me how to communicate or how to, to, to do support, I can help you. You know, I can't help with system administration, but we have look <laughs> here, but I can help you with other things. Uh, and of course, we can communicate together, do public re relation together. Our goal is that uh, uh, the Kitten community is like a free lib software. We work on a Git. Our charter manifesto has been written on a Git. Uh, uh, welcoming or not the new Kitten, it works on a Git with issues and things like that, you know. Uh, so uh, everything, of course, is free libre. The charter of the manifesto are under a CC by SA li license. So that if you don't like the kitten, well, do the tigers, please, fork it. It will be perfect. We will love it. But let's talk and communicate together because we have great things to do together. So, well... We need you. <laughs> we need kittens. We need kittens everywhere. We are starting, well, to uh, try and speak English. That's why I'm here, uh, for example. Uh, so, uh, well, if you're interested or doing something not exactly like this, maybe just something like this, a little bit. If you want to just join, well, you're welcome. You know, kittens are not for French-speaking people only. But let's communicate together because we know that it works. We have good experiences. Of course, every one case can be different. But together, I think we can be more strong and uh, propose an alternative to change the Internet as we know it. The Internet that is Google Internet, that is Facebook Internet, and that we don't want, all of us. So, well, just contact us. Uh, you can contact us with our email. Of course, we have several websites. The Chaton uh, website is not translated, uh, translated yet, but franasov.org and anguglize.org uh, works perfectly. Uh, anguglize, we maybe... Oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you did the SSL. You're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you have any questions, I can answer them for a, a few minutes, but then I will have to leave because my plane uh, is uh, really, really soon. But you have, please, the Framasoft team, can you raise your hands? If you want to talk more, uh, please, you know, look at their faces and they will be happy uh, to talk with you. And they will be more better at technology things than I. <laughs> we have uh, six minutes for questions. Perfect. this in developing countries like India, for example? How to, how to replicate things in developing countries? Well, I don't know developing countries, so I will have to I talk mean, with uh, to you. In a country which has uh, low bandwidth and people, people really don't have yeah. speed internet access. Yeah. Well, as, I, as I'm telling you, I, I, I don't know exactly all, all, all those things, but I think there are, uh, there are um, experience, experiments that we can uh, take lessons upon. Uh, for example, uh, we, we, for the next year, we will um, uh, try to uh, help uh, people on the uh, Reunion Iceland. Can I say Reunion in English? It works? Okay. On the Reunion Iceland, and they have also a specific ge geographical and uh, uh, structural uh, um, things that they have to, to deal with, you know. Uh, so we will accompany them, and then we will, of course, uh, tell uh, the story so that the experiment can be shared. So, of course, I can't 
now uh, imagine how to do it, but I'm sure there are solutions that we can find them together. I think there was a project in India uh, resembling this one, no? No. It's not working. It's not working okay, yet. Okay. Yet. Okay, it's not working yet. There was a plan to port, uh, take the Freedom Box and go and install yeah. it in a small village and have a mesh network. Well, uh, by using, there was a plan by using, I'm sorry, I have to repeat, using Freedom Box uh, in small villages in India. It can be, of course, it can be uh, one way. Uh, I, I won't uh, have a crystal ball and try to, to, to see it, but I'm sure there are ways. One of them can be that, yes, of course. Yeah? Uh, are you doing any efforts to help uh, your, uh, I call them customers now, um, but do you have any um, users Users that you, uh, do you help them to migrate away from their services to your services by um, getting the data easy out of uh, the software? Uh, do we help our users to migrate from their services to our services? No, the under -way -way. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I, wa I was telling you, no, <laughs> except if it's, if it's uh, uh, Google services to our services, yes, we help them. But when people uh, want to leave our services, we party, Ex especially if it's to leave our services because they use, I don't know, why you know host, my cozy cloud, uh, self-hosting people, or when they want to go, not to Framasoft, but to another kitten. You know, they are 24 right now. Of course, we help them as best as we can. Uh, it depends of, on every free libre software and service, so I can tell you specifically right now or ask me about the service. But uh, of course we help them the best we can because our goal is that you leave us. <laughs> we do want that. <laughs> Any other questions? There was one here? Yep. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. So, um, do people take your services? Uh, no, uh, no, people no. don't pay for services. Are they not the product then? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if it's free, you're the product. But why should they kind, okay, well, okay, well, if it's free, you're kind of the product because here in Framasoft, you're the product as you're the product in Wikipedia, for example, or other uh, things like that. It's that, uh, well, you come and some people must make donations so that we can go on and give it, us, and give it free for everyone. So, but you, as you can see, 2,000 people give us money a year and hundreds, hundreds of thousands of people can use it. So we think it's a fair uh, model, but of course we have donations buttons that, uh, that uh, are really uh, apparent, and we, we tell people, and how can you trust us? It's always about trust, and it's exactly the question. I mean, really, it's really important. We have a similar service, but we make people meet us before they host with us, so they know who they're hosting. That's perfect. That's what, that's what we want. We can't do that. But we have a reputation in France. It's, we've been existing for 15 years. So we are strong from this reputation in the free lib community world, French-speaking world. And uh, we also uh, have edited really clear and easy to read terms and services and a charter. Uh, so people can really know what our core value are. And every time uh, people uh, are telling us, oh, this, are you sure, or things like that, we respond. We are here and we, we discuss with them. But our goal is that people leave us, for example, go to a kitten because the kitten, there is a map and you can see uh, where is the ethical hoster close by to your house. And it's really important that you go uh, to the closest because you can talk with them as exactly as you do. Uh, this is the second question. There's amazing things coming from France and also from us, our software is awesome. Yeah, um, thank you. But when it's done French first, it never kind of escapes. And maybe it's worth um, examining this problem from an English first perspective, because there's amazing things happening in French. And people try to translate it and try to keep it up to date with the French. Okay. That won't work in a wider circle of languages. Uh, so the problem is, like when, when the initiative comes from France, it's really hard to keep up and to keep it updated into other languages. To give ownership of people in other languages of the project. Yeah. Like FFDN couldn't really accept more people because it was so fixed, and, and we might have the same problems here. Uh, well, we, we are trying to do our best to, to, to meet uh, this challenge right now. That's, that's our goal uh, right now. Actually, in Framasoft, I can talk for the whole French free community, you know, but we, we, we are trying uh, to do to that right now. And we would love if anyone else from the English speaking community uh, will, will take the lead about that and we will just participate and share on what, whatever we can, all our experience and things like that. But we would love that, yeah. And you're doing awesome work. 
Uh, it, the time's up. Thank you. Okay. Well, we will contact. Thank you.